Hey everyone, welcome to session two of the Droid Programming Lab. Last session we learned what droids are, AKA robots, right? What makes something a robot? Um, remember it has to be a machine with a programmable brain that can move a physical body. And that's exactly what our Sphero Minis are. So in this session, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna see how the Sphero Mini works and then we're gonna learn about what programming is, okay? And then we're gonna do some programming activities so that we can learn a little bit more about what programming is and how it's used. And then at some point, we're gonna actually program our Sphero Minis, all right? So first, let's take a look at how our Sphero Minis work. So the good thing about the Sphero Minis is that we can take a look at the inside of them and see how they actually work, all right? So it's just like an egg. If we crack that there along the seam, we can open it up. And I'll set this off to the side. So if we see our Sphero Mini here, there's a lot of things going on here, right? There's some LEDs in here, uh, light emitting diode. That's what the LED stands for, light emitting diode. So there's a little electronic board underneath this clear plastic, okay? Um, and then we have our charging port here. This is where we actually connect the charger to. And here we have a weight, it's called a counterweight. So it's just what, what it looks like, a big piece of metal, okay? And what it does is it serves a purpose. So it, what it does is, however you place this, it always keeps the robot upright, okay? So if you can see, it, you can set it on the side, but it always corrects itself, okay? That's what that weight does. It keeps it, pulls it, so that we always have it like that in that orientation. And the reason we want it like that is because the other part that really is the part that allows us to actually drive this real mini which are these little wheels right here, okay? So if you can kind of see that, they kind of protrude a little bit, okay? Meaning they stick out, okay? So what they do is that these wheels turn, and as they turn, they remember they're turning on the inside of this shell, okay? So as they turn, it turns the shell around the body of this robot, okay? And that's what actually what causes the movement of our Sphero Mini, okay? It's like a hamster in a ball. You ever seen a hamster in a ball? And so just like that hamster is moving around, is, is using its feet to move the ball and turn the ball, that's exactly what our Sphero Mini is doing on the inside, okay? So we have the counterweight and then we have the wheel. So the counterweight, again, it keeps it always in the upright position. And then it uses the wheels here to essentially turn the ball around it. And that's what gives us our movement with the Sphero Mini. Okay. So that's what the Sphero Mini looks like on the inside. Again, if you have, if you get a chance to go ahead and crack that open and take a look uh, there at your location, it's pretty interesting. You can see the electronics board on there. You can see the wheels and the counterweight. And so we'll take that, place that back in there, seal it back up, it snaps back into place, and now we're ready to go again. So that's how the Sphero Mini works. Pretty interesting. Like I said, it's like a little hamster in a ball. And so hopefully you learned a little bit about how uh, the Sphero Mini works and what's so cool about it. And I'll see you in the next video.